Well, so we wrote the circuit file for CMOS inverter uh, in the previous tutorial and let's perform its uh, uh, VTC simulation. Let me open it and CMOS inverter VTC open. So these parameters or model parameters for this PMOS and NMOS is set at default and I will be performing DC analysis where my input voltage basically I will be sweeping this input voltage V in from 0 to the value of VVD 0 to 5 and I want to observe the change this V out voltage change I mean how this output is changing with respect to this input so the source that I want to see is V in so I will write dot DC the name of the source that is V in and I, I am sweeping it from 0 to 5 volt and in steps of 1 millivolt and then dot N press save and I think that is all so again you can notice that this zero here is not mandatory you can even remove it but I will take it zero basically I am sweeping this input voltage V in from zero to five so this statement will be the value whatever value you put here five or six it doesn't matter this value will be overwritten in by this statement okay let's save and let's hit run so this window pops up and if this window is active so left click here and this if now this window is active why because you don't see any plot setting and if you click here so now this window is active so you can see the plot setting and if i want to maximize this window so i can do it from here you just click here and both these two windows will be even circuit file as well as the graphical window will be maximized and you left click here on these tabs to switch between them so let's press Control A or go to plot setting and add trace. Control A and I will I am interested in V out, how V out is changing with respect to input voltage. Okay. So this is the VPC of our CMOS inverter and this is the point where V V out is equal to V in. This axis is V in, this axis is V out, and this is the point where V in is equal to V out and uh, hence this is the threshold of the CMOS inverter. Now you can see that uh, so for example if I want to know what is voltage at this point you can see it here in this corner. If you move your cursor the XY coordinate on this graphical window will be shown here. So if you put it here you can see that x coordinate is 3 point something so this voltage is 3 point something and y voltage is again 3 point something right so the threshold is 3 volt around around 3 volt now let's go ahead and let's try to find the derivative or uh, derivative with respect to input of this voltage now if you want to do that you just go here left click sorry right click ok let me also introduce you to the cursor right you go here and you left click so you can see this cursor when you move your mouse somewhere here ok in order to know the position of the cursor you can see here it is at around 2.5 so you took, take your mouse here and you can see this one appearing this means this is cursor now press here I mean left click and keep it clicked keep it pressed and move so you can see various points changing in the um, this uh, window a small window here in the left bottom sorry right bottom and you can see various points okay x and y coordinate now if you want to attach two cursor you can do or you can also do it from here so attach one and two and you can change even the color so let me do that press ok and if i want to know the cursor's position because you know press control even if you press control g you can know, know it easily okay so press g is control g is for grip press control g couple of times and you can see the change now press your cursor here so this is cursor press your mouse here and press keep it pressed and drag your mouse and this this is cursor 2 again drag it 
so if you want to know the delta x i mean the difference between these two points horizontal difference between these two points and vertical between these two points so you can see it from here the x y coordinate of this point is shown here x x is here for cursor 1 y is here and similarly for cursor 2 x is here y is here here and you can see the difference horizontal difference between these two points and the vertical difference okay so well you can perform any uh, mathematical analysis on this graph so for example if i want to see the derivative i can go here you can find the health topics and tab and ps spice and waveform here okay waveform arithmetic so if you want to perform some arithmetic this this tutorial will be very helpful for example you can change the dash dash and all these tutorials are given here and you can write some expression for example if i want to perform the differentiation you can see that this function d performs the derivative okay so i will go here then this hand hand i mean this pointing hand comes just right click and type d and parenthesis press ok so this is derivative of the output voltage with respect to the horizontal axis variable that is v in so this plot is basically dv out over v dv in so this type of uh, differentiation is it will be required for example if you want to see the margin noise margin because when you are performing noise margin you are looking at a point where this the value of dv out over dv in is equal to minus 1 so somewhere here uh, let me left click and let me see this cursor here so somewhere here when this this horizontal value is sorry this vertical value is 1 this is around 1 ok so you can see here this is minus 1 so this is the point okay where this vertical value or the slope or dv out over dv in is equal to minus 1 so the corresponding input is this much and this difference is difference between this with respect to 0 this is the lower noise margin similarly if you pull this back here to this side when the vertical value becomes around minus 1 so again you can find so somewhere around here this this is the point where this vertical value is minus 1 or the slope is minus 1 the value of dv out over dv in minus 1 so this this vertical horizontal value minus the phi maximum input value is the highest noise margin so this kind of mathematical expression you can perform by editing this graphical window okay so this completes the introduction of this graphical window and one thing that i have not told you about and that you might be worried my curve you see it looks thicker than your curve so you can go to here tools and uh, control panel waveforms and you just check this drafting plot data with thick lines so your curve will be uh, thick too so thank you very much